Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the partial fraction decomposition of this given rational expression and this is our episode 11. So let's focus on this rational expression. Let's focus on this part only. x squared minus 9 which looks like a quadratic and we want to see can we reduce this one can we factor it out let me go ahead and write down this x square minus 9 right up here and we can see that x square and 9 I can write 3 square and now we can see that this is a difference of 2 square so we are going to use this well-known fact a square minus b square could be written as a minus b times a plus b so i can write this one as this is equal to x minus 3 times x plus 3 so far so good so this uh, denominator could be written as so i can write this rational expression as x times x minus 3 times x plus 3. So far so good. Now let's focus on the denominators over here. We have a three linear factors x times x minus 3 and x plus 3. That means we are going to write them, put them down as into three fractions one one fraction plus another one plus another one so the first linear factor is x that is going to come in the first fraction in the denominator the other one is going to be x minus 3 and third one is going to be x plus 3 and on the numerator we are going to put a on the top for first fraction this constant b for the second and the constant c for the third and now our task is to find the values of a b and c and let's go move on to our next step let's focus on the denominator on this part x time x minus 3 times x plus 3 i'm going to go ahead and multiply this across the board I'm going to multiply on the top on this side x times x minus 3 times x plus 3 likewise I'm going to multiply x times x minus 3 times x plus 3 for the first fraction on the right hand side x times x minus 3 times x plus 3 and finally x times x minus 3 times x plus 3 and now we can see that this x cancels with this x on the top this x minus 3 is gone with this x minus 3 and x plus 3 is gone with this x plus 3 so we ended up with 1 on the left hand side equals to likewise over here this x cancels with this x so we got a times x minus 3 times x plus 3 and now in the second fraction this x minus 3 cancel with this x minus 3 so we got plus b times x times x plus 3 and finally this x plus 3 is gone with this x plus 3 so we got simply plus c times x times x minus 3 and I am going to call this equation as equation number 1 and here is our quick trick look for linear factors in the denominator here is our denominators and we can see we have a three linear factors x x minus 3 and x plus 3 let me go ahead and write them down over here i'm going to write x over here and then i'm going to write 
x minus 3 and then I am going to write x plus 3 all right I am going to set each and every one equal to 0 so we got x equal to 0 as one of our x value set this one equal to 0 so we got x equal to positive 3 as another x value and set this one equal to 0 as well so we got x equal to negative 3 so this is another value now let's focus on x equal to 0 value and I have just wrote down put x equal to 0 in equation 1 that means wherever we see x we are going to replace by 0 so we can see the left hand side we have 1 I'm gonna just leave it there and over here a times x is being replaced by 0 minus 3 and then 0 plus 3 and you can see this one over here this x is being replaced by 0 so when we multiply this whole thing with 0 so this thing turns out to be 0 likewise next one we are going to see x over here I'm going to replace it with 0 so that means 0 times this whole thing is going to be 0 as well so I can write plus 0 over here and plus 0 now let's go ahead and simplify this thing one is on the left hand side this a time this become negative 3 times positive 3 and when we we're going to go this side so 1 equals to negative 9a so that gives us a equal to negative 1 over 9 of our a value now let's focus on our next value x equal to positive 3 and here i wrote down put x equal to 3 in equation 1 that means wherever we see x we are going to replace it by positive 3 so let's go ahead and write down on the left hand side this equation 1 I can write 1 equals to now let's see over here a times x here x is being replaced by 3 minus 3 is going to give us 0 0 times this whole term A is going to become 0. Alright. And now I am going to write down 0 plus and then we have B times X. I am going to replace it by 3 and then 3 plus 3 then plus. Likewise look at this one over here this x is being replaced by 3 minus 3 is going to be a 0 0 times this whole thing is going to be 0 so I can write plus 0 over here as well and now let's simplify one is on the left hand side and this simply becomes b times 3 and this is 3 plus 3 is 6 let's move on so 1 equals to 18 B which tells us that B turns out to be equal to 1 over 18 and finally we are going to focus on this X equal to negative 3 value and here I wrote down put X equal to negative 3 in this equation number 1 that means wherever we see x we are going to replace it by negative 3 so equation 1 on the left hand side we are going to write down 1 equals to look at over here when I replace this x by negative 3 and this is plus 3 this is going to become 0 0 times this whole thing is going to be 0 likewise we can see over here if I replace this x by negative 3 and then plus 3 
that makes it zero zero time this whole thing is going to be zero as well so i can write zero plus zero plus c times over here this is negative three we are replacing x by negative three and this become negative three minus three that gives us one equal to c times negative three times negative six that is going to give us one equal to 18 c that will tell us that c equals to 1 over 18. So thus we figured out our a value as negative 1 over 9, b value is 1 over 18 and c value as 1 over 18 as well. So thus wherever we see in this our partial fraction, wherever we see a I'm going to replace it by negative 1 over 9 wherever we see b I'm going to replace it by 1 over 18 and for c 1 over 18 as well and here as you can see that these fractions are showed up on the top right here and here is our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.